would like to move on to some of the historical events that happened uh, during your era. Uh, can you tell me how you felt and what were you doing uh, during the Great March on Washington? I was there with my mom. In fact, we were so close, um, we could have almost touched Martin Luther King. Um, and how that happened, I will never know, because we just started walking with the group of people that we rode over with, which happened to be one of the uh, church people who organized uh, the event. And we um, took our time, and it was a wonderful opportunity because I'll tell you the truth, I've never seen so many of us together. And they were quiet, they were orderly, they were serious, and my mom and I just talked about it for days and days and days. Uh, how unfortunately other people didn't realize what an accomplishment to have all of those people there on that mall. No litter. Now think about it. I'm busy now picking up things off my front lawn and my yard, whatever. The people driving through and littering. But uh, didn't happen that day. And since no woman actually spoke at the March on Washington, uh, can you tell me what woman do you feel would be capable of speaking at such an event during the time of the March on Washington and why? Oh, there were a number of women who could have spoken uh, at that time. Um, of course, Dorothy Height uh, comes to mind because um, she is uh, just outstanding um, as a speaker. Um, I'm trying to think Jordan uh, from Texas uh, would have been one who could have spoken at that time. Um, oh, it's just so many of them. Almost any of the women who were presidents, national presidents of any of the uh, sororities or could have spoken at that time. Um, didn't have too many um, recognizable ministers, but we did have some, and any of those could have spoken at that time. Um, if you go to the entertainment field, you had um, Ruby D, um, Lena Horne, any of them really could have spoken, but you have to understand the uh, history of the country, of the United States of America. It's not based on women. Doesn't matter what color they are, it's not based on that. It's based on men. And I don't know why people think that Black men are any different from white men. Okay. Same thing. It is status. It's power. Um, it's their thinking. And so, in order for uh, a lot of uh, women to do whatever they're going to do, they just have to get out there and get it done. It isn't going to come to them. Nobody gives up you have to be ready to move along and somewhat take it unless they get in a crisis and of course that's how women were able to do so much during the war got to be a crisis because the men were elsewhere fighting and uh, that's the way it is with the wars and so the doors then open more for women during those times if you look carefully at history but uh, before then, well, he had some, but not many. <laughs>